Hello everyone, welcome to the new blog and in this video we are going to install Viralize Automation Center and we are also going to do the configuration of the same. I know I've already published a video for Viralize Automation, I think it was for 7.0 but the continuation part I was not able to do it for the configuration but this time we are going to do both installation and the configuration. So let's not waste the time and go ahead with installation. Let's connect to our vCenter server. It's, it's not going to be an enterprise deployment. It's going to be, a, you can say, a lab deployment or a simple installation. So we are not going to expand all our roles on a different, different servers. I'm going to explain you once we are on that page. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and deploy the OVF in this particular ESX. So we have already selected the appliance path. I'll click on next. So we can see the product uh, realize uh, realize appliance and the version is 7.20.381 you can see the size requirement here we are going to deploy with the 10 provisioned so let's click next accept the eula next give the name of the server i'll give srv hyphen vra app02 okay so i'll also copy the name just make sure that i have a similar dns name select the folder let's put into a resource pool i'm going to use my ssd drive so next i'm going to use as a thin disk next I'm going to use my VMH of port group, the default port group, and let's create the password. I'll enable the SSH. I'll give the host name. And let's even go to the AD server and let's make the DNS entries. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one sixty five. Okay, I'll check this as also. Um, was created successfully. Done. Okay, let's go back. So host name is here. We'll give the default gateway. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one is the default gateway. Domain name is experts.com domain search path the domain search path not required dns server 192.168.10.14 is the dns server name we'll give the ip address 192.168.10.165 okay and submit mask 255.255 255.0 so let's review again the password has been done ssh has been enabled the host name is srv vra vp02 default gateway is updated domain name has been given search path i've not given it okay domain name server i have given dns service ip so domain server ip address for vm network ip address okay and the subnet mask 
let's click on next review all the configuration so that this size is this much the location on the data store ssh is enabled gateway is right domain name search button not given dns ip subnet mask and power on after deployment let's click finish So welcome back guys our vr deployment is almost like five second lets once this installation or you can say deployment of an ovf is complete it will automatically power on let's power on and see the console how exactly this go through Yeah, guys, so you can see our appliance is ready. And here is the URL. We have to go to our web browser and start configuring our appliance. So it's HTTPS 165. Five four eight zero. We have got that SSL warning. Let's log in with root and the password we have given during the time of deployment of an appliance. And you all are aware that the VRA 7.2 onwards, we have a wizard, a complete installation process. So it has been more customized. Now you don't have to go and IA servers and do all the prerequisite. Now even your VRA appliance is capable enough to execute the commands on your IA server and do most of your prerequisite stuff. Okay, accept the agreement. Next. So I was talking about this, a minimal deployment. So when I'm doing a minimal deployment, all my agents, dem servers, dem workers, sorry, are all on the same server. Okay, IA servers and everything will be on the same. I'll be having a SQL server. The, the complete IS stack is going to be in a single server. In my case, I'm keeping my SQL server as a separate, but all the rest other stacks are in a single server. When I talk about the enterprise deployment, so you have to make sure that uh, in the enterprise deployment, you have two appliances. You can see here the two appliances for high availability. On that, you have a load balancer, which has a different kind of a role. So like IS roles, you must have two, the distributed one, DEM management server service, agent server, Microsoft SQL cluster. So you need two, add a two for higher ability. So this is the structure of the complete stack when you're talking about an enterprise deployment. So I'm, I'm going to do my minimal deployment. I have checked here to install IS service. Next. Now, this is something which you have to download. So we have clicked on that URL. Let's wait for it to download. Once the software is downloaded, an exe file, we are going to, okay. So here it is. So let me copy this and go to my 192.166. That's an IA server. Let me paste the software and exe or a plugin to that server. So uh, our next job is to go to an IA server. 
this is our ad server this is our is server okay so let's go to is server here is the file we just copied right now we need to install this plugin so that our PRA appliance as well as IS server both start talking and once the both start talking we can see here one of the discovered host so let's go with the installation Next, I agree, Hula. Let the location be the same. You have to make sure that you type in this format only. Okay. So it should be HTTPS slash slash our VRI appliance ID 192.168.10.165 colon 5480. Give the password. Let's load the certificate if it loads, then everything is perfect. Yes, next. Let's give the password. I'm giving my domain ID as an password. Okay, password is wrong, now it should be right. And let's begin with installation. Once installation finishes, we can actually see a host here. So let's keep monitoring. Okay, yes. This is a quick installation that does not take much time uh, since it's my lab infrastructure. So it's taking a little more time. Meanwhile, let me use the server as my time server. 14 as my time server okay finish and we can see our discovered host our next job is to click on next Okay, so there was some issue. I'm not sure what exactly, but I think there was some communication issue, but it has been resolved. So it might be taking some time to sync, but it has been synced properly now. Let's click on next. Click on run. So it's a prerequisite checker that our IS server is ready for the installation or not. So let's run the prerequisite and see if everything is all good on that server. It take little while because it has to go to that server trigger all the scripts so you have to have that with patience here it has to take a lot of check a lot of different components and I suggest you to have an internet connection for a short time to that server so that some of the component may require an internet to download that or you might have to go to a particular URL download that software so like you have seen the Java installed right so that software is also something which you require to download and install it. Either you can down, go to the website and download it or let the server itself to download it for yourself. So everything's look checked and the system does not meet the hardware requirement. Realize automation requires minimum two logical processes. So we, we need two CPUs here, okay? So let me power off and 
give it with the two CPU okay then everything should be good shut down continue okay it has been shut down let me go to my the server actually I'm running my IS servers on IS servers on Hyper-V so let it populate okay System. Let's make it two. Okay, and let's start the server back. Let's wait for thirty seconds. Uh, meanwhile, the server initialize and starts up. It's taking a while. Yep, I think I can see here the console is up. Let me try to connect to my IS server. Connection is refused. Let's wait and try again. Yes, here we are. Let's go back to our VRA. and run it again so if in your case if you have multiple missing components you can then click on fix if there is internet required as i said previously everything is going to get fixed or else you can just simply click on next once everything in the status shows as green Still, it's showing as some components missing. Let us check. Okay, so let's click on fix. It says the task to restart when I survey our IS server. So we need to wait. Yes, it's done. I have been signed out. I need to wait for my server to come up. So all looks good. Only the restart is pending, which is in progress. My desktop session should be gone, most probably. Oops, this is gone. So let's wait for the server to boot up. Let's wait for 45 seconds and we'll try to connect.
Okay. Connection refused. We'll wait for a little more. I'm having trouble with the connection. Please try again. It's still in the progress state. Okay, so it's back. It says the restart has been done. Everything status shows us okay. We'll click on next. Resolve the host automatically. Next. Cannot be a single name. So what I'm going to do, I don't know why it is or always I get that error. So it need a complete FKTM. So let me put it. Experts.com. Okay. I'll put again the password for single sign on. Click on next. IS server. So where we are going to install our IS server is the same server which we just installed the appliance or plugin. Six. Okay. Put the password back. Okay. So things look good. Let's validate. It's always better that we validate each and every component and just we move ahead with the next option. Okay, all parameters are valid. Let's click on next. Give the SQL server of 192.168.10.64 is our SQL server. I'll give VRA DB02. Create a new database. We're just gonna build those authentication. Let's click on next. Now, uh, everything's going to be the same here in the case of dem server. Okay, so that dem services, it's going to be the same host name, instance name, you can get the username, password. Let's click on validate. Okay, all parameters are good. Let's click on next. Again, it's a vCenter agent, which is going to get installed. So let it get installed. All the things look good. The agent name is vCenter, endpoint vCenter. Okay, let's click on next. So, we have to put this organization name self dacx tech i n okay we'll generate and save the certificate let's click on next generate and save so again I'm going to put the same sorry okay let's go next validation so let's validate so whatever configuration we have done till now here 
it's going to validate once again. If we have missed out anything or something has gone wrong, it's going to give warning so that we can go back and we can do our required changes. as perfect 100% all succeeded everything's look good let's click on next so it's suggesting us to take a snapshot of our VM here so that if anything goes wrong during the installation or you can say a configuration of an appliance then you can do any changes to it you can come back revert the snapshot and do the changes so let's take a snapshot I'm not going to take off memory Okay, so it's done. Now let's click on next. And let's click on install. This install is going to take a lot of time. So let's wait for the complete installation to be done. I'll fast forward the video here. And once we are done with the installation, I'll be back because we still have certain things left out like licensing and some prerequisites. So let's wait for this complete installation to be done and we will be back. So video is going in a fast forward mode. The installation is in like the web, which takes a little long time. I think the total complete installation time took almost for me in the lab was almost like one hour. Once this installation is done, we'll go in the licensing page. In the licensing page, I'll provide my license ID. I'm going to skip this part and we will just go to the next slide, which is the customer experience improvement program. I'm going to uncheck this. I'm not going to join, click next. In this option, we can either have a pre-tenant created. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll click continue, next, and finish. So if you would have already created a tenant, then you'll be having one default ID, which will be having a full access to it. That is called configuration admin. But in my case, I'll go ahead and do it everything by myself. Let's meet on the second part of the video.